um, for our side of patients, um, right. 10, we just, we just put the antibiotics in. Um, yep. Looks like 9 um, has a ready bed, so we can call a report on that patient. Um, okay. Are there any new patients we should be aware of right now? Nothing I've heard of yet. I'm okay. sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to update you on a new patient that we just brought right back from triage. Okay. Um, he's a 56 year old male with no significant past medical history, presenting with one week of fever, shortness of breath, and persistent cough. He was 70% on room air and triage, so we placed him on six liters nasal cannula and put him in room 17, which is a negative pressure room. I think you need to see him pretty soon. Okay, Julie, thanks for letting us know. Definitely sounds like a patient who's sounds suspicious for COVID. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy that you already put him into that room. Uh, can you get our entire team ready, including our airway team, okay. and get all of our PPE? Sure, absolutely. Thanks. And just want to confirm, how many negative pressure rooms do we have left in the department? So we now have three in use, leaving two available for future needs. Okay. All right, we'll um, see if the packers are available for okay. intubation. Um, if they're not, we need to make sure we have the appropriate full PPE. This is a high risk um, scenario here. Mm -hmm. We have someone who likely is going to need high flow oxygen mm -hmm. um, in order to maintain his saturations and likely will need to have a breathing tube. So we need to be diligent about our PPE and protect ourselves so we can be there for our patients. Sounds good. Okay. Awesome. All right, let's go. Hello, sir. My name is Julie. I'm going to be your nurse this morning. I'm going to be oh, by placing you on our cardiac monitor. How is your breathing with that oxygen? Uh, I'm doing too well. It's still hard for me to, to breathe, it feels like. <clears throat> Are you having any pain? What'd you say? Are you having any pain? No, not really. And if you could sit me up just a little bit, it'd be great. Sure. So I did talk to um, the patient's wife on the phone. Um, she did confirm he has no past medical history, but this really started escalating in the last two days. Um, he's been having a fever intermittently, um, started coughing more, and feeling more short of breath today. Um, in the triage, it looks like he was in the 70s. Um, we have him on six liters nasal cannula, but he hasn't improved very much. Um, so the respiratory here, I'd like to escalate him to high flow nasal cannula. I don't think we have that available in the emergency department um, right now. No. You can do a non rebreather. Great, so let's get a non-rebreather. Um, thank you for putting the mask on this patient. We want to minimize our aerialization. Um, so let's get a non-rebreather, um, set that to 10 liters per minute. Um, we can put the mask over the non-rebreather mask uh, okay. to reduce any aerialization with this high flow oxygenation. Okay. Um, so Seems like his airway's intact. He's, he's, he's uh, talking to us. Great. Uh, he has some diminished spread sounds bilaterally. Great. Okay, and he has good distal pulses. All right, so we have our ABCs. Main focus now is our breathing and ventilation. Sir, we're going to put you on this mask for some more oxygenation, okay? So we'll need to make sure his SAS improves um, to above 92% um, in order to okay. avoid intubation. So he's on now rebreather now at 10 liters with a mask. On top of it. Great. And access, it looks like we have two IVs. Yes, we have two peripheral IVs. Okay. And can we, it looks like we have an 18 in the left and a 20 in the right. Yes. And uh, what's our weight on this patient? He was 80 kilograms on arrival from triage. Okay. Great. All right, looks like our saturation's improved, but only to 89%. Um, I'd like to go ahead and um, start moving towards intubation for this patient. Okay. Um, at 80 kilograms, what RSI medications would you like for?
important thing that we want to make sure we do uh, during the intubation procedure because it's a high risk of aerosolization during that. We do not want to use any bag gas mask ventilation uh, before um, uh, we place the PE tube. Um, we're just going to be using what we have on right now. Um, as soon as we have the tube in place, and we should be using video learning for this. Yep, we have to. Fantastic. Um, we should um, immediately get the cup up and connect the ET tube directly to the ventilator tubing. I do not want to use the bag valve mask. Um, we have a HEPA filter, viral filter on the ventilator already. Yes, we do. And it's distal to the suction. Yes. Part. Fantastic. All right, just um, to confirm, uh, we will not be using a bag valve mask after intubation. Immediately put the cup up and attach it directly to the ventilator um, with the viral filter attached, and we have our video laryngoscopy ready to go. Great. So, quick timeout. We have our medications ready. 20 milligrams yes. of Tomidate, 100 milligrams of sex, uh, rock, rock your own, my apologies. Yes, 20 milligrams of Tomidate and 100 milligrams of Rock Uranium ready. Great. Okay, we have our equipment available. Can um, have the end title, please? Absolutely. Thank you. What? So I believe we're probably ready to, to proceed. We have meds, equipment. We're all ready? Yep. Okay. All right, so let's push 20 milligrams of Tomidate, please. Twenty milligrams of atomidate in. One hundred milligrams of rocuronium, please. That's our high eighty, so we have to move quickly. Rocuronium is in. Get ready to reposition the patient. Okay. Okay. Let's remove this mask. Thank you. Great job, guys. 